everything on the edge. <laughs> I couldn't get enough. Welcome to this beautiful new video. I made it. Check this out here on the channel. Um, yeah, thanks for tuning in. It's going to be a very special video because it's going to be the first vlog of a new series I want to launch. I don't know the name yet, but it must be something like Ben's Storm Chase or something like this. And the reason for this series is simple. I pretty much suck <laughs> in strong winds. And um, yeah, I, I really need to get my ass out of the comfort zone and to, um, yeah, to go in storms and strong wind to finally learn um, how to ride, how to really send it. And uh, that's why I decided, hey Ben, just launch a new series, then you have to do it. And this is basically the plan for today. It really looks like we're going to have a very strong Mistral coming from France. Let me show you the forecast. So, as you can see, the wind is coming here from France over the Mediterranean Sea and hitting mainly the north of the island. And here in Porto Polo, for example, it looks like 31 to 44 knots. That's pretty, yeah, that's pretty good. And this is why we'll head up north together with my friends. And then I hope the wind tomorrow is like it is forecasted and I hope I don't shit my pants. <laughs> See you up in the north of the island. <laughs> <laughs> Check out what I found. Oh, che grande! Hey, ciao, amico. Oh, coraggio. <laughs> you want to take a photo? I have it. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Grazie. <laughs> ciao. One of the two things you need when you're living in the van. Water, fresh water, and a place to empty the toilet. Sometimes it's a bit tricky to find the hole. <laughs> uh, here we go. Yeah, um, I'm about halfway to the spot. And uh, today morning I decided I want to go to Reno Maggiore. And this is actually a, a wave spot. It's known for its waves. The forecast of waves today should be about two meters, but yeah, you never know what's, what really happens. And the wind should be about 33 to 44, something like this. They even upgraded it a bit over the night. And uh, the only downside is the wind is coming onshore and the waves, of course, as well. So it can be a bit sketchy to find a good takeoff, but hey, no excuses. I mean, this is the reason for this series, right? Ben should learn big air. So here we go, Reno Maggiore. It's actually also my first time at this place. Whoa. Holy moly. <laughs> Woo. The waves are insanely big. Check this out and they should get even bigger. What the fuck? I guess this series only works when I'm honest and I have to say this is scary. Huge waves, massive waves. I feel the cars like getting shaked by the wind. <laughs> Let's do this. Let's give it a go. <laughs> it's a lot of wind. <laughs>
instead of landing with the wave, but I really want to try one kite loop today. That was sick. I think sessions like this I can count on one hand. Not even. What an experience, beautiful. I was very scared. And like thinking about the fact that the pros are like pulling kind of kite loop laid back roll board offs and stuff in these conditions, it's like insane. I couldn't even find a takeoff. Crazy. Very, very nice. Yeah, but I think if I continue going out in conditions like this, I will learn it. And uh, yeah, I can't wait for my next session. I've got something planned already. In my next session, I want to learn the kite loop board off to my left side. I only can do it to the right side and also not today in this condition. And uh, I want to learn it to my left side and I will do it on a brand new kite that is not even released. Leave a comment below if you know what kite it is. If not, you can still guess. And yeah, thanks for watching this first episode. And yeah, I hope to see you soon on the channel. Peace.